My name is Greg Gibson, and I'm on my way to uh, Norfolk Prison to visit the man who killed my son, Galen, in a school shooting in 1992. I've been corresponding with this guy for 20 years, and some years ago it occurred to me that perhaps I could capture on film what he's been telling me uh, in correspondence for 20 years that when he was so distraught he thought he needed to kill people how easy it was for him to get a gun well there it is MCI Norfolk what a mess well you know ever since uh, Galen died it's been my uh, thought to somehow get something useful out of that horrible situation somehow to do something that might help another family not have to go through what your family went through and what my family went through and um, I don't know if it will have an effect but what was it that made you choose a gun as opposed to arson or a baseball bat well I think um I, 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 I was cowardly. I was a coward in the sense that I wanted to inflict pain on others, um, but I didn't want to be personal about it, almost. And, and let's be honest, I mean, there's nothing more powerful than the gun. Did you give any thought to what kind of firearm you were going to use or was it just what was available I mean there were pistols there were right. shotguns I, I just turned 18 so I, I knew that I couldn't get a handgun but I knew that I can get a rifle and I've seen these the, the ads in the newspaper and they had cheap weapons there so that SKS right but they only came with uh, I don't know five, five round magazines right you know you can alter the SKS to make it like an AK-47 or something. So, you know, I decided, well, yeah, I'm gonna get those modifications. I mean, they were cheap. Uh, the ammunition was cheap. The modification, the, the, the 30 round clips were cheap. You know, there was an easy way to make it into like a military style weapon. So I, I think it was meant to be simple. So you ordered over the phone? Over the phone. And I said, yeah, could you rush it out? And they said, yeah, absolutely. And we'll have it there for you tomorrow. Is there anything else you want? I said, no, that's, that's fine. And that was this, exactly. It was, it was so easy and no problems whatsoever. And, and uh, unfortunately, because of that ease, it, it, uh, you know, it added to the feeling that I was you know, doing, doing right or something. Oh my, yeah. Right. So I never, I didn't think of it that way. Right. But the fact that it was easy kind of reinforced Reinfor the yeah. mission that you exactly. felt. Exactly, exactly. The same thing at the gun store. Exactly. The whole transaction took you know, less than 20 minutes and out I walked um, with a gun. Uh, you had had no experience uh, shooting I have never of any kind? I never shot a gun. Um, I've never been close to anybody shooting a gun, so. Uh, the first time I fired a gun was that evening. I'm responsible. I, I, I want to make that clear. I'm responsible for it. But um, there, ha there's, there was help along the way. And I'm not saying it wouldn't, I, I wouldn't have done anything, but it could have changed that night. Mm -hmm. I was able to murder two people and wound four people by getting 20 rounds off. So it was easy. It's just too easy. It's just as easy now for a crazy kid to buy a gun as it was then. I spend years convinced that if I share this story with the rest of the world, they'll see the sense in common sense gun laws. I find out that I'm wrong. And here I am wondering, what the fuck? What's going on? It was easy. It's just too easy.